I know you've been watching the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Mary, which just got started not too long ago. Look who's with us this morning. This is Ed LaSalle, that, that nasty, acerbic theater critic. <laughs> and of course, he's, he's, <laughs> John, you, he's John Aston. You are so nice and trim, John. Well, what are you doing? What am I doing? Well, um, lots of things. Uh, but um, The Mary Show, for example, that doesn't keep me nice and trim, actually. Uh, I'm a vegetarian. You are? Yeah. yeah. Why? Um, it's a matter of taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you going to be one of those? <laughs> I just uh, I like vegetables. I like vegetables. No reason not to eat meat, though. Well, but see, we are a beef state in Alaska, you know. I know. Is that going to ruin me here? Oh, no, 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 no. Because I, I could be a vegetarian and love yeah. vegetables, but I just wanted to yeah. give a real reason. You grow vegetables in Nebraska, too. Yes, we grow a lot yeah. of things in Nebraska. Yeah. I grow a lot of actors in Nebraska. Yes. Yeah. Where were you born? You didn't I wasn't know? born in Omaha, no. Uh, uh, with all the rest of them, Marlon Brando and Henry Fonda. And Bill Alexanic. Do you realize Alexanic he? Alexanic, yes, too. Yes, a whole yeah. bunch of them. But anyway, anyway. Did you have to audition for your role in Mary? Yes. Oh, well, you did. Absolutely. Yeah. Everybody did. But you have such a rich history in the theater. Yeah. They know what you're capable of doing. Yeah, I know. But it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, these days, you, uh, everybody auditions. As a matter of fact, uh, there was someone up for Jay Ferentino's part uh, who didn't get it because he wouldn't audition. Well, uh, actually, uh, he—I don't know how he would have held up against Jimmy anyway, because uh, uh, frankly, uh, I think Jimmy is is absolutely perfect. In yes, uh, he's, uh, I, I just think he's wonderful. Well, the way all the characters are gelling. I mean, yeah. the blind guy in the office is a riot. <laughs> yeah. you yeah. are a riot. Now, y and you're playing the role of a theater critic. Uh, John's been in over three thousand uh, shows, three thousand theatrical performances. What did you think of critics when they wrote about you? Depends <laughs> what they said. You know, I was, uh, for a while, I was a slave to the critic uh, as an actor. Uh, if he said, uh, you are good, John, I would so I said, what did I do wrong? You know, he had to say, great, brilliant, fantastic. And then I would, then it was all right. But then that was, that was years ago before I, well, I was still a child. Did, did they ever pan you? I mean, did you really? Oh, yeah, sure. Right, did that, did that most of the time, I've had good reviews most of my life. But, but I mean, did that I've hurt you? If, if, if yes. somebody said, you, uh, John Aston did not work in this role, did that hurt you? Or did you say, the guy didn't see it right, the person didn't see it right? Uh, well, uh, it depends on when the, when the review took place. Uh, uh, in, you know, in the last uh, few years, if I've had a good review, it's fine. If I've had a bad review, that's fine, too. I, it really doesn't uh, get to me uh, at all an anymore. Uh, but there was a time when it, uh, it bothered me mm -hmm. terribly. I would try to pretend that it didn't, but I wasn't any good at that, either. Uh, and uh, uh, I would pace around for days, weeks, sometimes even years, <laughs> with uh, remembering a bad notice. I remember... There was a critic uh, somewhere in New England uh, who didn't like me in, in a part in which I'd gotten some great reviews, and this guy saw a standing ovation opening night and just killed me and one other person in the show. And uh, I, uh, I remembered that critic's name for years mm -hmm. and years, mm -hmm. and when he got fired, I remembered that and too. And, I, I, uh, and I, uh, it's silly to do that. I mean, it's... Uh, but you're so not going to be that a mean a critic on Mary, Ed are you? Say, no, Ed's a positive critic. Uh, Ed, Ed, uh, Ed likes theater. He's very interested in the unusual. Uh -huh. And so uh, he'll well, go for let's it. Let's look at a little scene from Mary where you see John Aston, the nature of his character. Would you set up the scene for us, John? What's happened? Well, uh, Ed LaSalle has a romance. And uh, with an actor's wife, the only time he can uh, see her is when her husband is on stage. And... Uh, so he's gotten other people to review the shows for him, and uh, he's been trapped. Okay, let's watch. No, 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 it's, it's not what you think. No. I, I'm in love. It's my misfortune that the only time I can see her is between 8 and 11 when her husband is on stage. <laughs> in a dreary little piece called Under the Yum Yum Tree. You gave that a great review. I was hoping for a long run. <laughs> been going on for a while? Truth be told, for the past two weeks. 
I've been giving my tickets to people I know and then pumping them for my reviews. I'm not proud of what I've done, despite the fact that I find myself smiling most of the time. <laughs> I find it hard to believe my paper, a professional, pulling a scam like this. Frank, she's so beautiful. She hangs on every word I say. Rita Garrett lights up the empty room that is my life. On the atmosphere scale of one to ten, ten being heaven, nine being someone you'll always remember. <laughs> Eight being interesting, but not quite as stimulating as hey. <laughs> A nine and a half. I had to take off the half because she's married. Yeah, we remember John Asson, of course, from The Addams Family, that wonderful series, which is now in syndication. Do you get big residuals for that, John? I, uh, I, from 1968 until 1985, I received a total of zero for that. How does that happen? Well, we did that show before um, actors got residuals in perpetuity. And so they replayed the show five times. We got, uh, we got a residual for those five shows and five reruns, and that was well, it. Who makes the money when they go into syndication? The, the people actors. who own the show. Uh, that's not... Well, not anymore. Not yeah. anymore. After uh, the, uh, a couple of strikes, uh, then they gave out residuals for in perpetuity. Now you get a residual. Anytime it's run. It's not all that much, but it's still All something. right, but now you're, you're, you've learned. And with Mary, and it looks like it's really going to be a goal, in perpetuity, what will happen out of the road? You mean, will, will I get residuals? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. Good. Sure. Good. Sure. Good. I, uh, I just hope we keep making more and more shows. It's so much fun to do. Oh, yeah. I, I'm just very grateful to have the job, and I, I think that uh, it's probably one of the best work situations of my life. Good. The people are wonderful. The producers are witty and intelligent, and Mary is a dream to work with, and the rest of the cast is great. Well, you, you've been around. You're a veteran in the theater. Who, in your estimation, are the best? Who's the best actor and actress out there? Um, right now, mm -hmm. on in what medium? Theater. Theater. Mm -hmm. That's Gosh. tough. Uh, yeah, that is tough. I, I'm a big fan of uh, Geraldine Page. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I like my former wife, too. I think she's a great Patty actress. Patty Duke. Well, yeah. Did you see her in A Time yeah. to Triumph? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. She's very she's, special. She's wonderful in anything she does. Yeah. She, she is really, uh, uh, I think, a, a great actress. Meryl Streep mm -hmm. is, is also a fantastic actress, mm -hmm. too, I think. Uh, but one last thing, John. Is the idea, and the ideal for the actor, is to get that role on stage that you you've created and it becomes you like Yul Brenner for example in the King and I he was but then yeah. he's trapped into that role and can never break the its stranglehold on him yeah you know whenever I think of that I think of his curtain call that he had how many years to work out that curtain call it's the most sensational curtain call I've ever seen in King and I uh, I don't uh, I don't know I think uh, you, an actor has a choice. I think uh, Yul Brynner wanted to continue playing that part. I think he loved doing it, and that's why he did it. Uh, I try to do something different than you every year in the theater, and uh, um, I, uh, I just have fun that way. I, I enjoy it very, very much. You're a fine actor, a Thank treasure you. to meet, a wonderful in Mary. Ed LaSalle, you theater critic, be kind. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I wish we had more time to talk. It's fun. John Aston, isn't he yeah. a great guy? Watch him on Mary right here on 1011. Please stay with us. The morning show will be right back.